This is Otavalo, known for having the biggest indigenous handmade fair in South America and for its beautiful places like the San Pablo Lake and the Imbabura Volcano, and also for its many great flavors. Let's discover Otavalo together. We are now in Otavalo. We just got set up in our Airbnb. It has a kitchen, a bathroom, it has two bedrooms. And this bedroom has a view to the main plaza. Here, an artisanal fair happens every Saturday. So we're gonna be going uh, tomorrow. Um, now, we're gonna go explore. But first, to get here, we took a bus from Quito. We went to the Carcelen uh, terminal. Um, the buses uh, come and go uh, often, uh, every half an hour. So you don't need to reserve in advance from our experience, from what, what people told us. So it was a two hour um, trip and it was completely fine. Now we're gonna go explore more of the city. We're gonna have dinner, so come with us. Two blocks from where we're staying from the main plaza, there's this place, there's a lot of uh, tents and they call them chiquilladas and they have uh, all kinds of foods. Uh, it happens every day until 11 p.m. So that's where we're gonna have dinner. Let's go. Correction, the name outside it says is the Gastronomic Association. The good taste, el buen sabor. Apparently, chiquilladas is a popular dish that they serve here. Yeah, deme un chiquillazo. Yeah. So I just ordered the chi. Chiquillazo, this is the popular dish from here. Uh, it's $1.50, $1.50. It has potatoes, rice, an egg, uh, salsa, and lettuce. We have the chiquillazo here. It has rice, potatoes, an egg, lettuce, and tomatoes. Uh, let's try it. Mmm. Ah, yeah. Pincho con menestra y tiene carne de res, pollo y salchicha. Esto es para Carlos que ha pedido. So this plate uh, is called pincho en lentejas. Right in the chicken. Mmm, good. Mm. Yeah, looks good. Only two dollars and seventy-five cents. Hey travelers, another day in Otavalo and we're gonna be visiting a lot of places in the Cantón Otavalo located in the north part of Ecuador in the province of Imbaburo. The Otavalo Canton has a population of over 100,000 people. It is known as the intercultural capital of Ecuador and for being where the Otavalo culture, culture was formed, known for their textiles and commerce. We're gonna start this journey in the center of the canton. This is the capital city of Otavalo. And talking about textiles and commerce, let me show you where we are. This is the biggest indigenous market that concentrates in selling art artisanal facts, the Plaza de los Ponchos. Of course, they sell all kinds of handcrafts made in Ecuador, but they concentrate in textiles, and we're gonna explore it. El mercado de los ponchos es un mercado donde que de muchos años atrás nuestros abuelos, nuestros padres han venido a este lugar donde se concentraban para eh, promocionar o vender su producto. Keep in mind that this fair happens every day, but not at a big scale. When the, all the merchants come, it's Saturday. They say that it's around 2,000 merchants on Saturdays. Um, another thing I need to tell you is that most of the stuff that is sold here, it's industrial, it's not artisanal. I mean, it has some artisanal things, but the main thing, the te textiles are made with industrial machines. I know about that because I worked in, uh, in, in artisanal, in artisanal goods. Decir como ha habido demanda de la gente o de empresarios que quieren la artesanía nuestra les gusta, ¿no? Y se ha vuelto industrial, pero seguimos usando, manteniendo, o sea, los lo que son en los diseños geométricos de lo que es nuestra cultura. Eh, so, but it's still good to come and and know. Plus, with the prices, you'll know with the prices that they sell that they're not. Uh, 
made by hand. ¿Qué me vas a comprar, Carlos? Es para mi hermano. Es el cuy de la casa. Señor, cuéntenos de su vestimenta típica de Tabalo. ¿Cómo, cómo es? ¿Qué, ¿De qué está hecha? Este Bonito. se llama blusa. Uh -huh. Esto se llama faja. Aquí tenemos otra faja que se llama mama chundi. Y la cinta. Este es, de, es collar, pero le decimos hualca. Sí, y este, el anaco blanco y el azul. Puede ser negro, cualquier color. ¿Y es una tela especial? Eh, no, cualquier. Ah, y el alpargate. Mm. Eso es la vestimenta otavaleña. The fair continues on many streets around, and we're gonna ir at mi otavalito. Hopefully, they'll have a uh, typical food. It's right here. Berries grow a lot in this part of Ecuador. So we order uh, berry juice to try. Mmm, very good. Amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> to eat, I order this trout at Mayotabalito style. Uh, it has a um, garlic sauce with a shrimp, potatoes, and salad. Let's try it. Very good. So, Carlo, it's amazing. Carlo ordered a hamburger because he doesn't like to try uh, different things. So he, he always goes with the safe a hamburger, but it's in the Mio Tavalo style. Mm. Si, ¿Sí? te gusta? You like it? Yes. <laughs> this is how we end the day. You, you might think that we didn't do that much, but we were working during the day and we're gonna continue working now. Look at the cartoons. That's Carlo. You think he looks like you? Yeah. Yeah? And this is me. I don't know. I mean, I see some of me, but not totally. But yeah, it's good with the world. And we'll continue the adventure tomorrow. Another day in Otavalo, we're gonna be dedicating the whole day to exploring this city and we're going to eat first. So we're going to the municipal market 24 of May, El Mercado 24 de Mayo. The structure is, looks huge, so let's see what we find in there. Every market in Latin America that is respectful has to have a, a, a patron, a religious patron. And here we have the Señor de las Angustias. Agony, the Lord of the Agony, the patron of the Mercado 24 de Mayo. What I like about this market is that everything is organized in sections. For example, here's the fruit sections. We have the meat, the potatoes, and even it has signs. You don't find this in traditional markets in Latin America. Well, it's hard to find this. No encontramos las escaleras, así que creo que se tiene que ir en ascensor. Vamos. No hay escaleras. Ah, con razón. ¿Qué vende usted? Yo vendo coladas, almuerzos. Usted es Lor Lorena, ok. Vamos a probar. Hemos escuchado tanto de esta colada morada. A ver. Mmm. Riquísimo. Yo hago la coladita de durazno, colada de manzana, cuáquer de babaco, de batido de fresa, agüitas de remedio, café. Nos están llevando al puesto de una ganadora mundial de hornado. Vamos a probarlo. Bueno, el hornado es de una tradición que viene de una cuarta generación de mi familia. Que mi madre, que ya tiene 95 años, pues ya le aprendió a, a la mamá, de ahí viene de generación en generación. Yo concursé aquí en Otavalo eh, del hornado, primeramente a nivel de la provincia de Imbabura, y me fui representando a la, de la provincia de Imbabura en Riobamba, gané a nivel nacional, con 20 provincias gané yo. Sí. ¿Y ¿Cuántos años tiene usted? Yo tengo 50, ahorita tengo 58 años. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? 4 dólares. Está bien rico, ¿eh? 
¿Qué tal? Mm. Te puedo decir que es uno de los puercos más ricos que he probado en mi vida. This dish has changed my life, at least in this place. Uh, I think it's one of the best pork dishes I've tried, at least the meat. It's seasoned so well, I don't know what exactly they put, but it's, it's good, it's amazing. Let's try it with the potatoes, it comes with potatoes and also with uh, corn and uh, onions. We are now in the main plaza of Otavalo. This is the Simón Bolívar Plaza, but the interesting thing is that you can't, you cannot find a Bolívar statue here, but you can find the statue of this man, a warrior, Rumiñawi. This is a symbol for the cultures that lived here, especially the Quichuas. His name means face of a rock, and that's why they have him in the middle of the plaza. You, here you can also find the government palace, you can see the main church, which is named San Luis. We're gonna go in. En Otavalo también hay otras iglesias importantes, aparte de la de San Luis, como esta del Jordán, que dicen que es la más importante de la ciudad. Vamos a otra ahora. En also de San Francisco Church. We were going to an important site here in Otavalo, and we bump into this swimming pool. It has a uh, very nice decoration, nice architecture. It's called the Piscina de Neptuno, Neptuno Swimming Pool. We uh, ask and it's two dollars to swim. So if you're in Otavalo and want to swim, this is the place. But we originally are going to la, the Virgin of the Cave. It's right over passing this bridge. We're now in the cavern. This is also known as the Cavern of the Virgin. The Montserrat Virgin is right there. She was put here not too long ago, but before this cavern was known to be a sacred place for the indigenous people of the area, a sacred place. Above here, if you take the stairs, you'll find a cross. It's also the cross of the cavern or cross of the socavón. Very religious site here. Excuse me, va al lago de San Juan? San Pablo, perdón. Por este, por el parque acuático pasa? Sí, ah, okay. Just got off the bus in the Parque Acuático Station and we're gonna be walking about two blocks. To take the bus, we went to the terminal. It cost 75 cents each and you just have to tell them that you want to go here, Parque Acuático. From here, you walk about two blocks until you get to the lake, the San Pablo Lake over there. We're here in the aquatic park, El Parque Acuático, with the backdrop of the San Pablo Lake, the star of this place. But here in the park, you can find many activities, especially for families and for kids, a lot of games, playgrounds. You can ride a horse. There's uh, places to play sports. There is food inside and also in the outside. There is a lot of restaurants where you can eat and do. you can do a lot of aquatic sports. You can do kayak, you can ride a boat, you can jet ski. And something interesting about this lake is that it has an, an extension of seven kilometers and the deepest part has 48 meters of depth. This is the biggest lake in Ecuador, huge. And another beautiful thing is that it's in the footsteps of this huge volcano, the Imbabura volcano, which makes it even prettier. We're gonna get on that boat. We're going up to the boat now. We have to put our life vests on in case there's an accident. We disembark it and we're gonna be going around the lake for 30 minutes. Everybody has their life vests just in case something happens. And we're traveling right by the Ecuadorian flag. I mean, beautiful. We were gonna eat here in the association La Garza. They have a lot of food stands, but they ran out of food because it's already 5 p.m. This is a good option. They have um, tilapia, trout, and other things. So we're gonna go out and see what else we can eat. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué se te antojó? Siempre querías probar esto en las obleas. Lo he visto en en Facebook, cosas así, y me llamó la atención. Entonces dije, si tengo la oportunidad de comprarlo, voy a. 
es lo caso. En Perú normalmente no es usual combinar el queso con el, con el marja blanco, ¿no? Pero, pero vamos a ver qué tal. Mm. Bueno, como que sientes el saladito del queso y el dulce del marja blanco. Muy rico. Carlos is gonna be able to wait for food later, so because he got the oblea and I'm getting a kimbolito. This is made with a flour, butter, milk, and also morochito. It's a drink with milk base too. Let's see. A ver. El morochito. Mmm, qué rico. This is the kimbolito. Mmm. Riquísimo, delicious. Going back to Tabalo. We were, we're not gonna be able to go to the waterfall because it's already getting dark. And by the time we get there, it's gonna be dark. So we're gonna miss the Peguche waterfall. But instead, we came to eat to the El Buen Sabor Association. Uh, the place we came on the first day, I'm gonna try something else. And Carlos is gonna get probably the same. Today I'm ordering a plate of tortillas. It comes with a potatoes, meat, a neck, lettuce, and let's see how it is. Vamos a probarlo, let's try it. The potato, it's kind of like a mashed potatoes, and then put it on the grill. Mmm, bien rico, really good. Recomendado también. This trip to Otavalo was amazing. I know there are places that we didn't get to visit, but please put in the comments if you know of a place we should have gone or something we should have tried, but we didn't, and we'll do it next time. What do you think of the trip? Uh, everything was beautiful, um, people nice, um, I have fun. Um, thank you for the experience, I think, thank you for all, and um, yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Perfect. And remember, the first day we came to the fair, the artisanal fair, this is how it looks when they're not here. They're taking everything out. So it's kind of interesting. If you want to know more about Otavalo, please visit thelatimetraveler.com slash Otavalo. And I'll see you in the next video.